And you're watching The Better Half. I'm Amy Hanton, also known as the Cooking Mom in the kitchen with Packer wife Courtney Finley, who loves to cook, and she's a neighbor, too. So good you to know, see you. Amy, it's not so much that I love to cook, I just love to eat. And you love butter, so that's why, <laughs> that's why we get along so well. And bacon. And cheese. So this is a fun one. Um, you know, I think uh, football is so much more than just a game. It's just, you know, it's about having people over. Mm -hmm. As you said, you know, that's your chill out day yep. when it's an away game. And ours too. I mean, both my kiddos get into it. And, you know, I mean, there's no question what we're wearing sweats and like a Packer sweatshirt mm -hmm. on Sundays. That's yeah. just the and way it is. And then if you have people over, it's a social thing too. Totally. You're yeah. getting together with friends and other fans and your neighbors. So, you need little appetizers like this for the game to keep people happy. Yeah, and I don't want to be in the kitchen the whole time. So uh, one of the ways I roll is, especially if I'm having a game day party, is I get her done um, as much as I can the day or two before. So, I feel your girlfriend. Yeah, you know, I hate that when like you miss the best play of the game, um, and you're in the kitchen. You know, right? You're in the kitchen and everyone's relaxing right, right, right. and eating yeah, and seeing what's yeah. happening, and you're like, yeah. what? What yeah. was that? Yeah. You know? Do not let that happen to you. So I've got two make-ahead recipes I'm going to share, and these are two of my all-time favorites. So, you know, we're in Wisconsin. Um, in both of my cookbooks, I have cheese ball recipes. Yep. If you live in Wisconsin, you got to have a cheese ball at your Packers yep. party. When I saw the ingredients and heard what you're putting into this, I thought this is all about Wisconsin. So if you live in Wisconsin, you've got to make this. I know. And we're going to make it you know, really, really cute. We're going to make it in the shape of a football. So I'm going to get you chopping here. Okay. You're going to chop some scallions, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just okay. chop them up. And when you're done with that, I'll um, get you to work on um, what else we're going to do. Okay. So the recipe starts with three blocks of softened cream cheese. So we just pulled this out of the fridge maybe about an hour ago. And this is a definite make ahead. You need to make this at least a few hours of the day before. It's got okay. to kind of really set up in the fridge and get some great flavor. Okay. And you could certainly, Courtney, use light cream cheese if you wanted to lighten up. I don't know why you would. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know anyone who does that. But anyway, I always say start the diet tomorrow. But yeah, seriously, exactly. if you use the light cream cheese, you're not even going to notice because we've got so many great flavors going on in okay. here. Okay. You were doing perfect. So three blocks of cream cheese. And then we're going to take Courtney's scallions once they're done. Okay, they're coming. All I'm right, trying. no worries. So we've got some fresh garlic. If you wanted to cheat a little bit, you could use jarred garlic. And oh, I, I just kind of, I do too. I just give it a fresh, or like a little whack with the back of my knife. And I don't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I, I have one of those garlic presses. I never use them. You know, half the garlic gets stuck in there. Exactly. I use like a food processor to kind of chop my onion up. But that works well. What you just did, just slam the I'm knife all about down and less dishes is more better in my house. You know so. what? That is a very smart. <laughs> I weigh. Should I get the food processor out because then I'm going to have to wash it? So that's true. Perfect. Scallions go right in there. Okay. Yep. Uh -oh. Just dump them in. You're perfect. Right. You're perfect. Messy kitchen is a good kitchen, right, Amy? Yes. If the hubby can help clean up, there we go. Okay. So then we're just thanks, and I'll let you just kind of mix that okay. together. Got perfect. It. I've got some pimento here. This is just one of the small jars of pimentos. So there's going to be a lot of flavor going on. I'm just going to dump the pimentos in there, okay. three tablespoons. This is six strips of cooked crumbled bacon. Have you ever used bacon bits, or do you make your own you bacon know every time? If I can cheat, I do. Okay. Um, that's what the grocery store is for. They have, you know, what? Uh, making bacon is a real hassle. Um, I love making bacon on Sundays, but now they actually have, like you said, the real bacon bits, not the, the you know, the fake kind, right. right in next to the salad dressings and the croutons, so absolutely go ahead and cheat and use those. Okay. We're going to do a couple splashes of beer, just whatever you're, you know, having in the house. Yeah, whatever you're drinking for yeah, the game. Yeah, exactly. One, two, the recipe calls for a couple of tablespoons, but who measures? And then the last thing we're going to add, some cheddar cheese. So we picked this up um, at Quick Trip. That's one of those things where if you're on your way home from work, don't feel like hassling at the grocery store. They have a lot of yep. a lot of stuff there, which is great. So about a cup and a half of shredded cheddar in there. And that's it. So just mix that together. I can smell the garlic. The garlic smells yeah. so good. This is like one of my all-time favorites. It's so, so yummy. That looks perfect, actually. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. So at this point, we're going to... Lick the beaters. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you could. It's at your discretion. <laughs> so we're going to take all this goodness. Okay. Oh, you know what we didn't put in there? We'll, we'll put in right now. A little bit of char chopped parsley, or you could use dried parsley. Okay. Got to have the green and gold going on here. There we got you go. cheese and bacon. It's all about the color. Yep. Okay. So this is the fun part. We're going to actually get our hands in here and make. You could certainly just do this into a, a big old. 
ball, like a circle, but I thought we'd have fun with it, and I'd make Courtney have fun with this. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> I know you like to craft. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have you put your hands in these Ziploc bags. Okay. And here's one, and here's one for the other. Are these our version of gloves? Yes, exactly, because who has gloves around? Right. I don't. okay. And I always have Ziplocs zip around. So you're going to try and form this as the best you can into a football. Oh, okay, no pressure. I'll try my best. <laughs> you go no for guarantees. it, girl. Alrighty. Looking good. I'm going to step around you. And I'm going to make the laces for the football. And this okay. is, you could use, um, like, just cheddar cheese. These happen to be roasted red peppers that I'm just, uh, just from a jar that I'm going to slice into strips. How's it going over there? You know what? It, I'm starting you, there to see you go. the there football. There it's not that hard to do. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to cover it with nuts. Oh, so it's going to look really look it like a football. Give it some crunch yeah. and texture. Yeah, and oh. it'll be nice and brown. And How many laces on a football? That is a great Google question. Okay, I'm, I don't know either. Mm -hmm. Probably like three or four. Okay. Yeah. They'll get okay. the idea. Perfect. Okay, so you did wonderful. Thank you. You are hired. You can come to my kitchen anytime. Thank you. So that then gets covered with plastic wrap. It goes into okay. the fridge. Okay. And then you're going to cover it with either your choice of nuts you can do, or you can also do bacon bits. So oh. look at mm. the, isn't that awesome? So you just that take your kind of your hands in there and press. In this case, we've got some pecans. Yep. After it's set up and it's really easy to work with after it's nice and you know hardened mm -hmm. like that. And then you take, we've got our roasted red pepper strips. Look at you, Amy. And we're just going to lay those across to be the laces. Okay. And get some crackers and that cute little spreader. Okay. And how fun is that? Yep, I totally get the idea. I see it. Not only is it a great um, dip, but it's a, a good fun centerpiece, too. Yeah. And it's so it looks pretty. Yummy. It makes yeah. your table look pretty. Yeah. I love that. It, it really looks like, like it. a rock star. We all yeah. look like a rock star. Yeah, maybe I'll try that this weekend when the guys are away you for should. the away game.